Welcome to Science Easy Tech channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about F-Test or F-Distribution Test. This has been taken from Unit 7 that is Introduction to Statistics in Nursing Research. The subject is Nursing Research and Statistics. For BSc Nursing students, it is useful for Post Basic BSc Nursing students and MSc Nursing students before moving on to the topic if you are new to science easy tech channel just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates let's move on to the topic this F test comes under parametric test already i have posted a video on parametric and non-parametric test and also I have posted a video on t-test. The link will be given in description box, suggested end card and I card. See 90% of the topics have been covered in nursing research and statistics uh, playlist for BSc nursing fourth year. The playlist link also I will be giving in the end card and description box. So let, let's see what is F-test. It is otherwise called as F-distribution test or sometimes they will be telling Fisher test also. F-I-S-C-H-E-R. Fisher test. So let's see the introduction and definition of this uh, um, F-test. So F-test is a test statistic that has an F distribution under the null hypothesis. So you are using F distribution under the null hypothesis. So F test is a test statistic that has an F distribution under the null hypothesis. It is used to compare the statistical model with respect to the available data set. So it is used to compare what the statistical model based on the available data set. So this test was given by Ronald A. Fisher. If you forget the name, you can write as R. A. Fisher. F-I-S-C-H-E-R. That's why it is called as F-Test. As a honorary to Ronald A. Fisher, we have given the name as F-Test or F-Distribution Test. Next, we will see the assumptions of F-Test. Mostly this F-Test they will be asking in 5 mark question. So here, what are all the assumptions? The samples are drawn randomly. The samples are drawn randomly. The samples where they are drawing the samples, they are drawn from normal population. The population standard deviation will be treated as equal or treated as equal. Then population standard deviation is unknown. So the samples are drawn randomly. Then the samples are drawn from the normal population, population standard deviation are treated as equal and population standard deviation is unknown. Next assumption is observations are independent. There is no measurement error. It may be one sided or two sided that is one tail or two tail distribution. So observations are independent. There is no measurement error and it may be one sided or two sided test. So these are the basic assumptions or conditions for an F test. Okay. Basic conditions or assumptions of an F test. Next. The test statistic formula here F is equal to. So what is this? What is this? Standard deviation square is variance. Okay. So variance um, sigma 1 square divided by sigma 2 square. Or it can be represented as S1 square divided by S2 square. So here if you are representing this uh, sigma it is for population. If you are representing S yes, it is for sample mean. Okay. So here you are having 2 degrees of freedom. That is N1 minus 1 degree of freedom and N2 minus 1 degree of freedom. So what is the formula? F is equal to sigma 1 square divided by sigma 2 square. That is variance of first group. Then variance divided by variance of second group. Okay. So or S1 square divided by S2 square with N minus 1 degree of N1 minus 1 degree of freedom and N2 minus 1 degree of freedom. So for here it is N minus 1 degree of freedom. For here it is uh, N2 minus 1 degree of freedom. So here it is N1 minus 1 degree of freedom. Whereas here it is N2 minus 1 degree of freedom. Okay. 
so how you will be forgetting uh, uh, how will be calculating the variance so you will be calculating the variance sigma square is equal to summation of x minus x bar whole square divided by n minus 1 already i have posted your video on standard deviation and variance you can watch our channel playlist for a standard deviation for group data um, and uh, standard deviation for population and standard deviation for sample mean similarly for variance also i have posted so here i told uh, it is sigma 1 square na so how you have to write summation of x1 minus x1 bar whole square divided by n1 minus 1 then sigma 2 square is equal to summation of x2 minus x2 bar whole square divided by n2 minus 1 so this is the formula to calculate f statistics which is very very simple formula Mostly they will be asking only theory part, okay, sums they will not ask at BSc level. So steps in F test, state null hypothesis that is H0, H0 means null hypothesis, sigma 1 square is equal to sigma 2 whole square, sigma 1 whole square is equal to sigma 2 square. So we have told no that uh, the variance, the standard deviations are equal we have told okay so here state alternative hypothesis where h1 h1 means alternative hypothesis or it is otherwise called as research hypothesis so here sigma 1 square is not equal to sigma 2 square so if it is not equal means either it can be less than or it can be more than so it comprises of what tail two tail test or two sided test then you have to use uh, f statistic you have to compute f test statistic using the formula f is equal to sigma 1 square or sigma 2 square or it can be s1 square or s2 square so what is the degree of freedom here we have two degrees of freedom n1 minus 1 and n2 minus 1 degree of freedom you have to calculate the f value then after calculating the f value what you have to do you find the table value of it at alpha level of significance at alpha percentage level of significance either it can be 5 percentage 10 percentage like that okay 0 0.05 we are telling then 0 0.5 we are telling 0 0.1 we are telling 0 0.01 like that and all we are telling now so at alpha level of significance so mostly we will be seeing at 5 percent level of significance at n 1 minus 1 n2 minus 1 degree df means degree of freedom then you have calculated the f value and you have seen the significance suppose if the calculated f value is less than the table df value h not h not means what ma null hypothesis h not is accepted that is null hypothesis is accepted when if the calculated f value is less than the is less than the table uh, f value h not is accepted Suppose if the calculated F value is more than the um, tabled F value, you have to reject the null hypothesis and you have to accept the alternate hypothesis. So just opposite to this point, you have to write if it is less than H0 is accepted, if it is more than H0 is rejected and what is accepted H1 is accepted. Next uses of F test. So it helps to test equality of variances of two populations. So whether two population the variances or equal can be tested by means of f test so it helps to test equality of variances so this is very very important equality of variances of two population so helps to test equality of means of so only if it is two population we are using f test but if it is more than two population two more than two means three or more population then we will be using a special type of f test which is called as ANOVA ANOVA means analysis of variance my next video will be on ANOVA that is analysis of variance that also they will be asking in five marks so next video I will post what is ANOVA and what is the formula for calculating ANOVA and what are all the assumptions and what are all the implications. Hope this video is clear for you all. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up, share and subscribe to Science Easy Tech channel. My previous videos link I have given in description box, suggested end card, i card. You can watch our channel playlist BSc Nursing 4th year uh, research and statistics for more uh, videos with regard to nursing research and statistics if still you have any doubts feel free to post your doubts in the comment section keep supporting to science easy tech channel thank you friends